This is our final presentation for Principles of Management, and we are Group 7, Kim Taylor, and this is by Samantha Donahue, Brooke Harris, Emily Dewitt, Jordan Curry, Riley Hahn, and Anwar Kazim. For our characters, our first character and our main character of the show is Kim Taylor. She is the marketing manager of Viseroy, and we describe her as very intelligent and driven. She is also charismatic, motivated, enthusiastic, she's self-confident, and she's honest. She's also a perfectionist, and she's very creative as well. Our next character is Lori. She is the CEO of Viceroy. She's very positive, successful, and optimistic. She's also a respected leader within Viceroy, and she's very ambitious. She has great organizational skills and collaboration skills, and she's also very great at working in teams. Then there's Mark. He is a sales representative at Viceroy, and he has a highly valued morals. He has an outgoing personality, and he's very creative. He has also excellent team leading skills. And then there's Ryan. He is a sales representative. He keeps to himself most of the time, then he kind of jumps job to job. He has no interest in advancing his career, and he's quiet and sluggish at work. And last but not least, there is Shelby. She is the receptionist. She is a young single mother. She works three jobs. She's often difficult to deal with, and she is a long-term employee at Viceroy, and she's also a little bit envious of Kim Taylor. The summary of our show is this show follows Kim Taylor as she becomes the new marketing manager for Viceroy, an apparel company located in San Diego, California. She is routinely faced with ethical and managerial dilemmas. In addition to Kim facing high expectations of being youthful and recently having obtained a highly sought after job position at Viceroy. Management Concepts So the management concepts that we go over in our TV show include a lot of different ones. One of the first and main concepts that we go over is ethical decision making. This mostly has to do with how Kim Taylor handles herself within her new position. One of the biggest ethical decisions that she makes is when she highly reports for her quota, she over-reports the sales, and they're not exactly where she wants them to be. So she goes to Mark and Ryan to see if they will hold off on reporting the cash flows for the month so that she can try to raise sales before it gets too close to the end of the month. Mark and Ryan end up making the ethical decision to go to Lori and talk to her about it as they weren't comfortable with what Kim Taylor was asking them to do. Another concept that we highly go over is culture. The culture before Kim Taylor starts working there is not the best to work in. Most of the employees are very motivated. They're kind of lacking the motivation to go to work and to get more sales. And it's just not the best culture to work for in an environment. And Kim Taylor ends up implementing many different things to help the culture and to make the team come together with contests and competitions and you know getting more office supplies and she kind of helps bring the company together and make the culture better and help make the company a better place to work for. Another concept that we go over is organizational structure. This is related to the tasks that are delegated within a company um, and it kind of relates to how Lori has delegated Kim to be the marketing manager and how they delegate different tasks to different representatives in the company. And then obviously management is definitely a topic that we go over. Lori is a manager and so is Kim Taylor after she gets the job and it goes over how they handle their new position and how they have to adapt to what they are doing in the company based on what's happening and they have to try and change what they're doing and learn more on the job and there's no set rules of what they should do so they just kind of have to use what they know and make decisions based on that. Another topic that we go over is environment and that goes back to culture and how the environment changes when Kim Taylor starts working and starts making the environment a better place to work for. Another topic that we go over is planning and organizing. This really is touching on how Kim Taylor plans and organizes, how she will improve the culture of the environment that she's working in, and how she gets a coffee machine to help with her employees, and how she plans contests, and what they're going to do, 
and management is a lot to do with planning and organizing and seeing Kim Taylor in this new position really shows how important planning and organizing is. Another topic that we go over is objectives and this kind of goes into planning and organizing. You should always have clear objectives when you're working so that you know what your end goal is and that's what Kim Taylor did. She was hoping to improve sales and that was her objective mainly through the entire show. Another concept is leadership. Um, Kim Taylor and Lori are both leaders within the company and they show their leadership skills based on different situations. Lori makes the executive decision to have Mark and Ryan speak to Kim Taylor and make sure that she isn't making not ethical decisions. Kim Taylor makes decisions in her leadership role to do certain things. Like she was thinking about holding back on reporting cash flows with Mark and Ryan. She was making the decision to get the coffee maker to do contests to increase sales. She was doing and making a lot of decisions in her leadership role. And not all of them were the best decisions, of course. But she ends up showing that she is a really good leader at the end when she starts to teach other employees about her experiences and how she has used them to grow herself in her position. And the last concept that we touch on is teamwork. And this can be shown by Mark and Ryan working together to decide how to handle Kim Taylor's situation. Conclusions on management. Management will continue to evolve as business practices do as well. And we should always be looking for new and more effective ways to manage groups, organizations, and more, whether it's with technology or just interacting with people. And with new technology always emerging, the ease and difficulty in managing others is always changing in different ways. So technology always brings makes things easier, but it can also bring anonymity into managing, and it can make your job more difficult. Our group reflections include as a group that we've worked together fairly well in spite of early difficulties with scheduling and getting work done on time and just deadlines in general. The larger project, it was harder to manage everyone in the group as we got further along and as more tasks were coming our way. Shared calendar definitely would have been helpful for us for future deadlines and I would definitely recommend that to future groups. And our individual reflections are as follows. With organization, collaboration, and structure, Group 7 was able to complete each assignment with much ease. Although most assignments were simple to complete, it was difficult to organize group meets since each member had their own working schedule. Emily do it. Overall, I think that our group has done good work, but not without its struggles. It's stressful to try to get everyone communicating and on the same page. As much as we have tried to get things done ahead of time, it still ends up being finished at the last minute, said Jordan Curry. A great collaboration, a deeply rooted sense of mission, the right balance of participation and productivity of our team makes it a pleasure to work on our projects. I like the way that we collaborate and chat in Google Hangouts and GroupMe, completing a large number of assignments. I think it is really effective. The only thing that I would have changed is the schedule. We should have touched base earlier in the week and delegated work where it needed. And Cuisine. The group has done great completing projects on time. I think our timing of the work has been great. Communication with six people is always going to be difficult, but for the difficulty scheduling meetings, we've done very well completing the projects. I also think that they have been good in their quality. Brad Hahn. Most of the projects have gotten completed without much issues from the group. The last two larger projects have brought up issues within, such as collaboration and delegation of tasks. We hadn't been concentrating on fixing the issues as we should have been, however. Brooke Harris. My reflection of this group project has been mostly positive. However, there are some hindrances that we had to work on to overcome, such as communication and scheduling issues. The most helpful collaboration tools that we have used is Google Docs and Google Hangouts, since this is a virtual group. Samantha Donahue. Group recommendations. We would definitely recommend getting a shared calendar as soon as possible that gets automatically updated with new deadlines and even just delegated tasks. It would definitely have really helped us a lot as sometimes we forgot during the week about the projects that we do on Sunday. 
You should also start a group chat on GroupMe or Hangouts or another app that alerts group members' phones because most people don't check their email or Canvas very often. So it's definitely very useful to have something on your phone that's alerting you when your group is trying to talk to you. You should also plan video group chats to make big decisions, such as when you pick your TV show, that's what we used, to go through everybody's ideas and pick our favorite one. Most of the time, we used GroupMe for text chat, but for big decisions, we would use Google Hangouts. And definitely plan ahead. If you know an assignment's coming up, definitely start delegating tasks as soon as you know that the project is coming up or whatever deadline it is, as it really definitely helps a lot.